This amazing La Nina winter has produced some fantastic skiing and riding in the east. Here at Wachusett Mountain, about an hour west of Boston, they've enjoyed their fastest first half start in eight years. Heck, they've had more than two feet of snow in the past 10 days. Wachusett has terrific terrain, wonderful learn to ski and ride programs, and catch this, they use the waste heat from their snowmaking compressors to heat their beautiful base lodge. Cold weather all week has sustained carvable packed powder surfaces. Every run's open at Saddleback and the Balsam. Sunday River, where all eight peaks are skiable, is getting close to full operation. You'll love the snow at Lost Valley, Mount Abram, and Shawnee Peak, where a AAA member can get a discount this Sunday. In central New Hampshire, conditions are phenomenal at Pat's Peak, Gunstock, and Sunapee, and all three have some glade skiing right now. Cannon, Loon, and Waterville picked up some light snow this week, and these three resorts are set for a fantastic weekend. Wildcat has everything open after a snowy couple of weeks. All of the North Conway areas are looking good, including King Pine and Cranmore, where a slope-style event is set for Saturday. Packed powder rules at Bretton Woods and look for some fresh snow to make the skiing and riding even better this weekend at Jay Peak and Killington. Out west, you'll find great snow and lots of sunshine this weekend if you're flying to Sun Valley, Jackson Hole, or Telluride. Only light snow fell this week in the Wasatch of Utah, but the sliding's just fine at Snowbird, Alta, and Park City. This cold and snowy weather is going to continue right into February. I'm Herb Stevens, the snowboarding weatherman.